encourage you. Encourage you. That will be if you don't know what I'm talking about, just think about the day you might have been having a rough day. Maybe you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, and then when you got to school that day, someone said good morning, asked, asked you how you were doing, and it kind of lifted your spirit. That's what I'm talking about. If you want to make a difference in someone's life, find ways to speak to their heart and through their emotions. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Ephesians 4.29 3. Serve the Spirit Ultimately, the most important thing you can do for anyone is to bring them into a relationship with God and then help him or her grow closer to him through discipleship. But my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned to me by the Lord Jesus. The work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. 24. As you step out of your comfort zone, God will give you opportunities to be a blessing to those around you and begin to fulfill the call to be more like Jesus. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as ransom for many. Mark 10.45. So my friends, we have to continue our excuse me we have to continue our discipleship that is kind of a hard word to say but we're going to continue our discipleship by spreading the word of the lord so our key point today is that we give 100 percent by serving and leading others into a growing relationship with jesus christ friends it has been such a fun week to do Bible study with you. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope that you have really enjoyed getting to know the cheerleaders and that you learned your cheers that they made up just for you. I know that they had a great time making those up for you. So God bless to all and take care. Be well. Bye.